So when you get the CPSI, there's a couple of ways inside there that are um, shortcuts. Uh, I think as a super user, we have access to ways in and out of the system that normal nurses and doctors don't have. Um, we, we, I think we get a lot more functionality. Uh, when you go to patient accounting, you're greeted with this screen. You, I go right here to the screen. Usually it looks like this. I'll show you. So you, usually normally you go in, it looks like this. You hit patient accounting and you're seeing this screen. If you hit POC access, you'll get to this screen right here. And when you get to this screen right here, you have all these options for looking at verifying orders, reviewing uh, vitals, patient, patient selection, changing departments. It's like, a, in my opinion, like a sub menu to the other menus that become available. So instead of opening up, let's say, like all of these menus individually, you know, one to change apartment, one to select your patient, one to verify orders, et cetera, et cetera. Now you're greeted with like everything. This point of care main selection screen is like really like, to my opinion, almost like the, the real gate. So let's say that you wanted to uh, uh, check out a medication verification. Med schedule for my patients, I'm sorry. So see, there you go. So I have this guy under my name, Mike Walker. He's my patient. And now it's got up here, you know, my patient's uh, patient medical verification. And all you do is you click on the guy, and there you go. Now you've verified that he has been prescribed aspirin, 325 milligrams every evening. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, when I go through, when I move through the system, CPSI, I, through the class I had before with Ms. Finley, I've been able to learn about the sim more simplistic ways of moving through it with as little confusion as possible. Um, because it's a, it's a complicated system. It has a lot of things to it. But in our classes, we're really just trying to, you know, focus on a few things. Like the patient journey, for example, doesn't need to be overly confusing. It can be, you know, can be simple. And it's easier to understand if it's simple. So let's get out of this. And you just exit out, right? So you exit out of all the menus. Okay. So that's one part. Um, if you go to patient selection and you click this patient right here, now you have this menu. Okay. You see? I have flow charts, activities, pharmacy, med act, vital signs, order entry status of order, physical assessment, initial interview, etc., etc. All here, right in front of me, ready to rock. I've got his doctor, Dr. Derek Jeter, his room, his age, his number, his name. It's very clear. And this, again, in my opinion, makes CPSI easier to understand. Um, so you could look at like for activities, for example, input, you know, everything. Hygiene, IV care, nutrition, wound care, pulmonary treatments. You know what I mean? You got all these things here that, and you, all you're doing when I say you go one step to another is you're really just moving from one step to another. This way that I go through the system allows me to move through the system one, two, three, four, and not get myself confused. And this is what I learned in Miss Finley's class. This is why I really got to give her kudos, man. She really. You know, this helps me out a lot. See, all these menus here are all complementing each other. You know, and it's nice to be a super user, and it's nice to be able to fly through the system. But you know, this is one option available to how to get through uh, the system. Okay, which is that right there. So now I'll show you another way that I go through the system. This is another way that I like to go around uh, inside CPSI that works very well. So again, starting with this screen, this is where we begin. Patient accounting. If mine comes up like this, I'm gonna go to the base screen. This is our base screen. Now you'll notice I'm in department number one right now, but if I change department to department number three, which is medical surgical, Okay, and now I hit POC access. The menu's changed. See, now the menu's changed. The menu's changed to fit this department that I'm in, I guess. 
So this is my patient, Mike Walker, and I just removed out patients that I had in there from last semester because every patient that a student enters, they will see under their patients, my patients. And you can see here that it's convenient. It opens up for me directly to my patient and allows me to pull down this tab right here and move my patient through the hospital. MRI, uh, pain, you know, everything, pre-op, you name it. Right now he's in pre-op. Now the other thing that's nice is that we're, maybe this is because we're super users, I don't know, but if you hit census, now I know the activity of what's going on inside of this hospital. This is like the whiteboard basically. I have other people who are in this hospital. There's four people checked in right now. Their physician's information, their location. One of them has no location right now. And the plus and minus signs allow me to take that patient and make them mine or minus remove them from me. So it's really cool. And it tells you the minutes that the person's been active inside of it. So this person here might have entered in their person correctly, but their patient journey has stopped because they have zero right there. So they're, for argument's sake, they're, they're in a hallway or they're between two parts right now. They're between maybe the ER and getting tested or however that patient is you know, set up to flow. They're on one of those lines right now. They're neither here nor there which is pretty interesting. So this also has the same things and you can verify orders, meta verify, you know, you got everything you need right here. So this is another way that's really cool and another way of like being able to get through the system also.